Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to share my NVIDIA control panel settings with you, specifically the 3D settings. Here I am in the NVIDIA control panel. I'll show you some changes I've made to the 3D settings. So if you click on manage 3D settings, and uh, you've got to make sure that the simulator is actually selected rather than the global settings. You don't want to change everything. So you click on program settings on the tab here. And if you can find the simulator here, that's fine. If not, you just click on add and you look for the .exe file and that's the program file. So then you can make the changes. So as you can see, I've got image sharpening. Each time it tells me if I'm using the global setting or not. So I'll just say on or off to make it a bit quicker. So um, image sharpening is off. Um, ambient occlusion is grayed out. Antroscopic filtering uh, is application controlled. Anti-aliasing is off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction is on. Anti-aliasing mode is application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency is off. Background application max frame rate is off. CUDA GPUs is all. Low latency mode is off. Max frame rate is off. Monitor technology is G-Sync compatible. The was what I changed here is power management mode. Uh, prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate is highest available. Shader cache is on. Texture filtering is on. Uh, negative uh, texture filtering negative load bias. I know that is uh, allow texture filtering quality. I put on performance. I put the texture filtering optimization on. Threaded optimization auto. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync use a three D application and virtual reality pre rendered frames. I change it to two. Those are my settings for the NVIDIA control panel, and I'm using the driver version 466.11. So that's my information there. So here you can see my graphic settings. I just wanted to highlight the fact that I enable the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, or the HAGs, it's enabled. Um, and the variable refresh rate is off. Here you can see game mode is switched to off. I hope you found this video useful. And remember to experiment with these settings for your own setup. It might not be exactly the same as mine, so just uh, try and copy mine and maybe make some changes to see how yours reacts and just try and find the sweet spot for it all. Please remember to like and subscribe if you find this content useful. And uh, as always, take care and stay safe.